So that phrase, the nick of time, means just in time to stop something bad from happening, like a hero in a movie. We could also say at the last minute or even at the last second. So how do Sophie and Howell stop Lily? We see that Sophie uses her magic to talk to the object in the castle and they come to life.、Oh. So to come to life means to become alive, like the word from earlier. In this case, it means the objects can move, think, and maybe even talk. Now this is a magic thing, but in real life, we can use the phrase "come to life" to mean to become more interesting and exciting, like when a party comes to life, or the colours in a picture book make the pictures come to life. Life 这个名词是生命，那 come to life 就是活过来，有生命的意思。Sophie 用她的魔法跟城堡里面的东西说话，这些东西就活了起来。This really is turning into Beauty and the Beast， 好像美女与野兽。Like at the end when all the things in the Beast's castle fight Gaston's people from the village. Yeah, it is very similar to that. Yes, we see that together. They, that's all these objects, save Calcifer. The article also says that Sophie also talks life into Calcifer so he can survive without the heart. Of course, since Sophie can make things come alive, she can make Calcifer alive. And that's not all. We see that Hal gets his heart back and is able to defeat Lily. Ah,、oh, there we go. And to defeat someone means to beat them in a contest or in a fight. You win and they lose. Defeat 这个动词就是打败 And there's more good news as well. The article says additionally, Sophie's actions broke the contract, meaning Calcifer is released from Howl's service. Oh, of course, because now the heart's back with Howl. Calcifer's got his own life. He doesn't need to work for him. Contract broken. So we have a couple of words to look at here. The first is the adverb additionally. Additionally means the same as also and what's more, in addition, and all the other kind of conjunction words like that. We use additionally to add extra information, give other facts, and things like that. So we could say, we went to the beach and it rained. Additionally. I got pinched by a crab. Oh no! Additionally, 这个副词呢，就是用来带出更多的资讯。它的解释，单字的解释是另外、此外。那通常是放在句首的。In this case, we've got Calcifer being free,、mm -hmm. Howells defeating Lily,、mm -hmm. and Calcifer being released from the contract. So three, three wins in one. So Calcifer is released. To release something means to let that thing go after you have been keeping it. Once a criminal has finished their time in prison, they will be released. To release someone from a contract means the contract is no longer true. It's over. It's been cancelled. Calcifer is free. Here's another example. After looking after the hurt deer, the doctors released it into the forest. Released. Release 这个动词呢，在文章中是释放、解除。Calcifer is released from Howell's service. Calcifer 再也不用帮 Howell 做事了。那 release 当动词还有另外一个意思哦，是发行，像是 re release a book 发行新书 ，release an album 发行新专辑，还可以发行什么呢？还可以 release a movie 发行新电影。So back to the article.、Mm -hmm. If Calcifer is free, that that means You guessed it. As he promised, he turns Sophie back into a young woman. Things are working out nicely. We're now at the end of the story, so we're finishing out what happens to all the characters. Yeah, we've got to figure out. Okay, so all of these different people, what happens to them in the end? We start by learning that now that Lily is dead, Prince Justin and Suleiman, that's that royal wizard guy. Are also safe. So in that last sentence, we use the phrase "now that blah 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 blah," and we use "now that" to talk about a situation or a condition 
and introduce what it is. So in this case, the condition or the situation is Lily is dead. Now that this condition is true, something else happens. Justin and Suleiman, whom Lily had captured a long time ago, are safe and free. So that's good for them and for the country of Ingeri. We could also say something like, now that the rain has stopped, we can go outside. Now that 它可以用来带出一个新的状况既然 Lily已经死掉了 Prince Justin and Solomon也安全了 All right, so that's good And we also see that Calcifer Who of course is now free He decides to stay with Howl Not as a servant But as a close friend So a servant is someone who is paid to work for another person Usually in their house or with other personal jobs related to them. It's not like working for a company. A servant has to basically do any job that they're told to do by their master. In the old days, richer people had many servants. Now, some people still do, though it's less common. Here's an example sentence. The rich man has his servants clean his house twice a week. Servant 这个名词是仆人，那仆人去服侍他的主人，服侍的动作是serve s e r v e。那他们给仆人啊，给主人的这个服务，名词的话是什么呢？是service s e r v i c e。我们在文章中有看到这个字。那Calcifer决定留下来，还好我一起，但不是以仆人的身份，而是以好朋友的身份留下来。Not as a servant, but as a close friend. Yeah, we used a particular grammar structure there, not A, but B. And we use this to say something or someone isn't one thing, but something else. For a simple sentence, we could say, This animal is not a sheep, but a goat. The sentence we've used in the article, this uses not as something, but as something else, to talk about what Calcifer is now he's staying. He's not staying to be a servant now, but staying to be a friend. Using not as A, but as B helps us use fewer words in the sentence and make it easier to understand. 所以这边在说的就是呢,对等连接词 not A, but B 不是A,而是B 想要表达的是什么呢? 想要澄清啦,更正或是强调的时候可以用 那注意哦,A和B必须要是词性对等的字 片语或是字句再给同学们一个例句哦 He's not my dad, but my brother 这边 not but 连接的就是名词 或者是 It's not red, but pink 这边连接的就是什么形容词。再一个例句哦, I like you, not because you're tall, but because you can play basketball very well. 这边连接的就是子句。Okay, so there is also our two main characters to talk about. And we see that Sophie and Howell realize they like each other a lot and decide to live happily ever after. Oh, such a sweet ending! Howell and Sophie 从此就过着幸福快乐的日子 And that brings us to the end of the final part of this article. So, we can now go to today's For You Chat question.